Hello, the topic for this video is why SAP HANA? This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. SAP company, also known as SAP AG, is famous for its ERP software. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning Software and it's a special class of software that is used to capture all the activities that are going on in an enterprise so that right information could be reached to the right person at the right time. And they are pretty large software and so is the SAP software. So the ERP software that is made by the SAP company is also known as SAP and it is used by most large companies. You can take my other videos on the topic of ERP if you like. So SAP ERP software stores all the information that business need to function properly. For example, customers, their transactions, suppliers, purchase orders, invoices, payments and so on. So the main selling point for SAP ERP software, in fact for any ERP software, is that it provides real-time integration. Just an example, incoming delivery is entered in the system and stock levels are updated automatically. So this is one side of the story. SAP ERP is an online transaction processing software, the term known as OLTP. It's a class of software where frequent transactions are happening. So the focus is on, is, is on the inserts. Lots of records are being inserted. Here's one example of incoming delivery. This is a transaction. You're entering invoices. That's another transaction. You're creating payments and so on. Now, on the flip side, we have a warehouse application. So now I'll talk about SAP's warehouse solution and then I'll combine the picture of OLTP and OLAP and then I'll make my point. So SAP created its warehouse application in 1997. It was called SAP Information Warehouse. It was their data warehousing solution. And with the passage of time, SAP Business Information Warehouse got evolved into SAP Business Warehouse also known as SAP BW and that evolved into SAP Business Intelligence also known as SAP BI. So we started talking about SAP's Business Warehouse solution. Initially it was called BIW then BW then BI. What does it do? What is a warehouse solution? And uh, to be more generic what is an OLAP application online an analytical processing application? This application you may want to call it OLAP application or data warehousing application is geared towards management of the company not to the operational people who are managing day-to-day -day operations of the company and for for them there's an OLTP application which we already talked about SAP ERP now management and owners they want to see trends and they want to do queries on uh, tons of data ranging from past many years till uh, maybe not I won't use the word till point in time I would say let's say till uh, last month uh, and that's for a reason and I'm going to talk about that in a bit they want to see trends and they want to see the forecast and their queries could be simple or could be complex forecasting and that is what a warehouse application does it lets you do the queries okay so we have an OLTP system, online transaction processing system like SAP ERP where transactions are happening and the audience is the operational people who are managing the operations of the company and then we have a data warehousing or OLAP application, online analytical processing application like SAP BW or BI and the audience is the management of the company and they are not creating transactions. In fact, they are creating no transactions and they are doing lots of uh, queries. So in terms of SQL language, SQL uh, language is used to talk to the database known as structured query language, um, select command will be executed against uh, this BW database and lots of inserts and lots of update commands will be executed against SAP ERP database and there will be selects here as well but not as heavy duty selects as you will see on, uh, on the data warehousing application. So what happens is you create two different databases. You don't want 
to perform heavy duty queries in the same application that users are using to maintain day to day operations because it, this will put so much burden on the system that that will impact the performance. So you move the data from your OLTP application to your OLAP application and that is uh, the norm no matter you are using SAP solution or some other solution like Oracle you will move the data from your regular day-to-day -day database to the uh, warehouse where you can do heavy-duty queries and you do not simply move the data you also while moving you aggregate uh, the data that you don't want to see in detail from it for example if I'm doing trend analysis in the warehousing application I'm not really interested in what kind of tennis racket Tom purchased I'm more interested in how many males purchased a tennis racket in the city Richmond Hill I'm not interested in a particular person I'm more interested in the trend so you may want to do some aggregations to fine-tune the performance on the data warehouse database otherwise it may take hours for the heavy duty queries to be completed you may want to reduce the time so you might have to do some aggregations okay so this creates the stage to discuss the topic that this video is all about why SAP HANA okay so challenge one is you have to maintain two different databases for two different types of operations one is day-to-day -day operations and one is trend analysis and the second challenge is that there's a lag and the data in this warehouse is not up to date you have to do a refresh and you don't do that on hourly basis you do that maybe on daily basis or weekly basis because this is a uh, not a very quick refresh it takes time so data available in the warehouse is not up to date and the third challenge is this SAP usually is used with third-party vendor databases like Oracle, DB2 and Microsoft's SQL Server etc. And why is that a challenge? It's a challenge for the SAP company uh, when they deal with customer issues and sometimes issues residing in the database but they have to absorb the customer calls and uh, work with the database vendor to make sure the customer is happy and so on. So they don't have everything in their control sometimes the issue may be coming from the database that is experienced by SAP customers for example so uh, that is the third challenge and SAP HANA addressed all these challenges how let's take a look at that then SAP created something very interesting SAP HANA that's an in-memory database I've covered this topic in other videos what an in-memory database is and so on in a uh, real short an in-memory database keeps almost all the data in the memory not in the hard disk so spinning is out of the equation and the retrieval is 10 times faster and customers have reported 5 to 7 times better performance after implementing SAP HANA but in theory it could be 10 times faster because all the data is residing in the memory with SAP HANA database it is possible that both kind of applications OLTP and OLAP can use the same database so operation operational staff will be doing transactions against the same database and management can do queries against the same database and not simple queries I'm talking about analytical queries so now we don't have to maintain two different databases and this addresses all the three challenges database is one and there is no lag and also this is SAP's own database so third-party vendors are out of the equation as well if you're running SAP on SAP HANA then Oracle for example in DB2 are out of the equation and if SAP HANA is installed on approved hardware then SAP guarantees the performance keep in mind that 
although you can download SAP HANA on, on your computer, but SAP HANA is not simply a software that you can download and install. It is an appliance. An appliance means a marriage of hardware and software together. So hardware has to be tuned properly for the software and software has to be adjusted to work on that hardware. So there are vendors which I have covered in other videos that offer approved hardware for SAP HANA and when you install SAP HANA database on that approved certified hardware then the performance is guaranteed. So in this session you have seen the need for SAP company to create SAP HANA and the challenges that was addressed by the creation of this special database.